ready for a tea break, Naru? I know I am. Yes. Honestly, my neck and shoulders are going to calcify if I don't stretch my legs and walk around for a bit. You know the last stand down in the harbor, don't you? Come and meet me near the outside tables, and I'll treat you to their coffee. It's quite good. What, what, what is it? Can a man not enjoy a moment of private respite? If you're looking to share a table, then I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. Rude. You misunderstand, sir. We were simply wondering if you knew of the Telophori. These enemies of peace have promised an end to all we hold dear and... Wait, you're that house Lavellier girl, aren't you? Lavellier. And this woman with you is obviously a foreigner. <laughs> I'd hear you. I he I'd heard you were disowned for helping the outsiders indulge their barbaric whims, and here you are giving truth to the rumor. I'll thank you to leave me be. I've not to say to the likes of you. Well, I must apology. Uh, apology. I must apologize. Twas foolish of me to expect an ons of civility from one so enlightened. Come, Naru. Um. Yes, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Pray excuse the interruption, but we were hoping you might share your thoughts on the Telephori and their uncon un unconscion unconscionable plans. My goodness, if it isn't the young Miss Le Levelier. My apologies, but I work in the offices of the Forum, and if word reached Master Fortunal that I was helping you... I see. We're sorry to have bothered you. God damn it. Everybody's annoying. Dickon? This guy's name is Dickon. Welcome, madam. What can I offer you today? Wait, is that Mistress Alizé I see there? My word! How long has it been? Far too long. Dickon. <laughs> uh... What's happening over here? Hold on. Meet Dickon, the owner of The Last Stand. I used to frequent his cafe on occasion, in between lessons at the studio. That seems like an age ago now. I remember hearing that you and Master Alfino had set sail for Eorzea, but then you never came back. Lately, there's been gossip about your father disowning the pair of you. Everything all right at home? No. <laughs> It's complicated, and I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite so quickly. Everyone has an opinion, it seems. Well, it is, House Level Levelier. I don't know if I'm saying that right. No matter how discreet Master Fortunal may have been, news of your family's doings never stay secret for long. Things being what they are, what brings you back to the city now of all times? We have questions, and only Charlian has the answer. Tell me, Master Dickon. <laughs> Sorry. Have you heard anything about an apocalypse called the Final Days? What, like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. And that's what you're here to find? Information on this apocalypse? Yes, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there was more I could do to help. Maybe you could speak with them. Dickon. Hmm, but maybe there is. You're a visitor to Charlene, aren't you? Yes, I am. How'd you- How'd you guess? Then few will know your face. We should be able to pass you off as a server with none the wiser. Oh. That won't be my first time. We just finished preparing a few orders. Strike up some friendly conversation while you're settling- setting down the food. And you might just get the answers you're looking for. Not a bad idea. I hate to ask, but what do you think? Leave it to me. I got this. That's the spirit. Pay attention now, and I'll explain where each of these dishes needs to go. Do I actually have to pay attention? The tea set is for the chatty group sitting by the water's edge. The omelette is for one of our regulars, a highlander by the name of Gisla. She's sitting at an outside table with a friend of hers. Behind them, you should see a Mikote gentleman. He ordered the oven-baked lobster. Got all that? If you're not sure, just ask and I'll explain again. Tea for water. Water person. This is the... 
Is that the Highlander? Or is this the water? Oh, my tea set. Lovely. Thank you. The Telefuhu? I'm sorry, I've never heard of them or their final days. My friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now, if you wanted to hear about ritual arcane practices of the sixth astral era, common or esoteric, then I'd be happy to talk your ear off. N no, thank you. So... Ah, finally. Two, four, six, eight. Let's dig in. No time to waste. Uh... What? The Telephorite? Ah, yes, I remember seeing the name in the latest Gazette. That and some grand claim about the end of days. Same old senseless warmongering. When will these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood? Best stay out of it, I say. The forum made the right choice, and I fully support our decision to remain neutral. Okay, bitch. At last, the oven-baked lobster is mine. You have no idea how long I've scrimped and saved and suffered to afford this heavenly dish. The final days? This is the first I've heard of it. Although that would explain why my friend has been rushed off his feet. It might must be a busy time to be a gleaner. What? Hmm? You don't know what a gleaner is? They're collectors of a sort. Travel the world, procuring things that we haven't got here in Charlian. Priceless books, unusual live specimens, and so forth. <laughs> so named for those folks who trail after the reapers in the fields, picking up every grain which was missed, I, by all accounts, gleaning is a most meticulous and demanding profession. If these telophori make good on their audaci audacious threats, then many uncatalogued rarities could be lost forever. Why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy? Watch the harbor and you'll see what I mean. They're carting loads in front of the docks all day. It's never been this hectic before. Not like this. Have I learned anything? I don't really... Like, maybe the gleaners. Maybe we can talk to them. Any trouble with the customers? Were you able to get anyone talking? Interesting. They seem unaware of the final days, aside from whatever vague news the gazettes are printing. Hello, sir. Is it time to say hello? Is it time to say hello? Even Dickon. I can't get over the fact that this guy's name is Dickon. Uh, even Dickon had nothing to offer, and he's the best source of gossip in the city. Hmm, if the forum does have secret knowledge, then they've done an impressive job of ensuring no one whispers it in the wrong ear. <laughs> he he only only knows how to get in the way currently he's about to step on my touch portal excuse me thank you in any case thank you for playing the part so well here the cup of coffee I promised did you promise coffee I missed that part I guess but let's enjoy our drinks somewhere else, shall we? Maybe behind the peristyle, away from the gossips and their wagging tongues. Aw, oh, Alice. Yes, this should do nicely. Out of the wind and out of sight. <laughs> this looks like fun. Dude when needs more armor. Us, yeah. I couldn't believe. Why are we sitting so far apart? <laughs> it wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Hmm. Do you remember when the decision was Hers made or mine? to come to My boots I crafted, I think. If they're the ones I think I think they are, I already forgot. Oh no no! To no, dark, those I didn't craft. And that father's when you said all day, I did not realize you meant starting at six in the morning. What's wrong with you? To keep us at arm's um, so what happened was I woke up at five a.m. without an alarm or anything. So I took that as a sign that it was time to start playing Endwalker, 
And also I thought, oh, the queue's going to be really long, so I'm going to put myself in queue and lay down for a little bit longer. But it was less than an hour, so here we are. I got like four, th four giant bottles of cold brew from with Instacart yesterday, so... I'm glad I'm streaming too. I'm really excited for all of this. I'm glad that you guys are here also. I was kind of thinking that nobody was going to be <laughs> awake or around this early. Perhaps it was. Father argued with grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly I, didn't know. I what also to say. have her boots, I think. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment. Unless they changed with this outfit. The choice. They might be a little so bit different. All I could do was fume silently. It was only you don't work today. Why did I think I you did? How being stubborn and That doesn't explain why you're family. awake. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. How do you have a civil response to your parent unreasonably disowning you, though? They must be fairy and goods to Labyrinthos. People were being loud outside. A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian oh. is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Hmm. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. So you're awake. When I lived here, it was rare to even see Is such Mike cargo off today, department. or are you just there by yourself? Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, go on. I also went to bed at like midnight, so I'm not going to say when I went to bed because then you guys will understand how little sleep I got before I started this. <laughs> Still, oh, she already said that out loud. Right, I don't have to read right now. Wait, didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and you going? You went to bed at 10. I wanted to go to bed early and I failed. <laughs> I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. And gleaners answer to the forum I'm in my is office just wasting away oh well I'm just here it. I'm inviting his then friends over today I haven't slept for 26 to hours so I was pooped playing. about 36 hours yikes The labyrinth in oh this must be the maybe the dungeon? We should tell the others what we've learned about the gleaners. Go on ahead to Numenon and I'll join you in a moment. Master Dickon will want his cups back. Master Dickon. <laughs> uh, I'm a child, I'm sorry. I'm back. <clears throat> Welcome back, Naryu. Been for a walk and cleared your head, have you? Something like that. Not exactly. We did some impromptu investigating and turned up information on the gleaners. And here's what we learned. I don't know why that's how I explain things. <laughs> Because I'm a cat. It makes sense. The gleaners take their requests directly from institutions and bureaucrats. But as you say, they ultimately answer to the forum. 
A sudden and, in and significant increase in gleaner traffic in at in gleaner traffic and in, car and in cargo. My goodness. It certainly gives the impression of an overarching plan being put into motion. Let us see what theory we can build from the facts. As Ishtola observed earlier, Numenon's archives appear to contain no information concerning the final days. Coupled with what Naryu and Alise learned at the last stand, we can be reasonably sure that most Charlians know nothing of this, that particular period of ancient history. Okay. Uh, yet my father and his colleagues are not only familiar with the final days, but are also somehow certain that the destruction being perpetrated by the Telophori is wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. Moreover, the forum claims to be so occupied by a duty of such pressing importance that they saw fit to unanimously deny Eorzea's request for aid. And now... And now, the Gleaners, offic the Gleaners official agents of the state have been mobilized on an unprecedented st scale. I do not think it is stretched to conclude that the Gleaners' recent activities are in service to the forum's secret events. In which case, our next course of action seems obvious. We visit Labyrinthos and assess the situation for ourselves. And if we're lucky, the Gleaners will be far more receptive to our questions. Uh, what should we expect down there? Oh, I would hate to spoil the surprise. Rude. As for myself, there are a few more subjects I should like to research. I may join you later, but feel free to leave behind your borrowed books and be on your way. I'll see to it that each is returned to its proper place. That would be a great help. Thank you, Raha. Let's head down the stairs over there and I'll show you where the entrance is. You got it, dude. Ready? Labyrinthos is not too far from here, but you may find the path a bit disorienting. Why? I'll take the lead, so stay close. Follow and try not to fall behind. She sets off at a brisk walk. I mean, is that what we're calling a brisk walk? I mean, I can go in slow mode and still be faster than her. It's pleasant here amongst the trees. Yep. Jesus Christ. Now we run. Okay, good. Try to keep up, please. Keep to the path straight ahead. Okay. I'm doing it. Which way? Okay, you didn't have to stop to tell me. You could have just gone that way. Again, you didn't have to stop to tell me. I'm following you, so just lead the way. Oh my god, okay. Here we are, through this door and down the stairs. You did remember to attune to the shard back there, didn't you? We'll make your life much easier if you need to come back in a hurry. Otherwise, we should keep moving. Hey, everybody. Okay. We're all here now, yes? I've taken the liberty of securing permission for our group's descent. <laughs> right, everyone onto the lift and down we go. Deep beneath the scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. Mm. In any it's age cool, exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves. And this vault's architects surely belonged to that special breed. If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first, and then bit by bit, a profound transformation. Mm. Knowledge buried beneath knowledge, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there is no escape. All right, that's a little dramatic. <laughs> <clears throat> And yet, we have this, like, really calm music. Mm. 
Not what you expected. I must admit, the artifice is very convincing. Sure. But I assure you that we are beneath Charlian itself. The breeze you feel, the flowing waters you hear, all created by the hand of man. I wasn't doubting you. The island is volcanic, you see. And once upon a time, this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma. Hmm. It was discovered some 400 years ago, at which point it was repurposed as a storage facility for scrolls and samples and such. Renovations have continued, with nigh or no interruption to this day, with the lower levels still undergoing expansion. Hmm. That's a lot. Aren't those people gleaners? I, judging by their dress, they are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. <laughs> it may be as you suspected, that they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Let's spread out and get some answers then. Let's. The music is going to put me to sleep. That's the problem. <laughs> What's wrong, Kryl? Creel? Did you call to me just now? I already forgot. Kryl? Creel? No. How odd. I I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? We shall. Might be, like, time for a Red Bull in a little bit. <laughs> I keep forgetting to read. <laughs> oh, there's a sightseeing thing. Let me think, let me think. The Rhea seeds should be item 1058, cumin seeds 1059, snurbleberry 1060. Were there were they 1061? Ah, my feel my head feels like it's stuffed with moco grass. Why more loads to take out than carry in? Why do all this once and risk why do all this at once and risk mi mixing it up? What if someone mistakes the Quirthian carrots for the girl Abanian carrots? What then? You want to know what I'm doing? Hauling books and ore and fauna. If it needs hauling, I haul it. Every decade or so, they take stock in Labyrinthos. You know, sort and tidy up the inventory. Never seen an operation like this before, though. They just did one a few summers ago, even. Then, with no warning at all, this mess gets dropped in our laps. Orders from on high. Damned if I know the reason. Could be that they're changing the layout, eh? Preparing for the next big expansion? Cool. Oh. Any luck, Naryu? What tales did the gleaners have to tell? Well... Here they are. I apparently wrote them down. <gasps> the little koala on his shoulder. So this grand operation began without warning, and for every item they bring in, they're sending more inventory somewhere else? Hmm, that would explain the haggard faces I've been seeing. We were right. The forum is definitely up to something, and they're turning Labyrinthos upside down in the process. I may be, like, saying that could be Labyrinthos... La I don't know. I have Ethernet access! Hooray! She appears lost in thought. We would do well to learn more of what, specifically, the Gleaners are being tasked to do, as well as who has tasked them to do it. If you're game, Naryu, I have an idea. Why am I... Why is this happening? Didn't one of the gleaners you questioned say something about escaped marmots? 
Perhaps, if you were to help him capture said creatures, he might be inclined towards a more friendly and enlightening conversation. Which one was that? The first one, I guess, because that's the one I didn't read. In the meantime, I will turn my charms upon this gleaner here. We can compare notes afterwards. Happy hunting. You know he's right here. Oh, I guess we were whispering. Is that why I was bent down? You wish to help me find the marmots? I have nothing suitable to pay you for your services, but if you're offering out of the goodness of your heart, I'd welcome the assistance. Yep. Goodness of my heart. The name is Aaronville, friend, specialist in the collection of live specimens. That said, the capture of these na Nagsian marmots is a trial I have no de desire to repeat. Grizzled mice, they call them. For a mercy, there are no other marmot species on this tier at present, so there should be no mistaking our little fugitives. If you happen to catch any, stuff them in this sack. Gently, of course. Thank you. Let's sack some marmots. Where to begin, you wonder? I've not seen any scampering around here, so we'll need to widen our search into the surrounding forest. Be on your guard, there are beasts out there that won't hesitate to prey on a marmot, or you. Okay. I'll search the trees to the west. The eastern part of the forest is all yours. Good luck. Okay. Search for grizzled mice and defeat any enemies which appear. What? Do, I don't even know what they look like. Oh. There we go. Uh, first of all, let's bring Rex out here. Just in case. This is not a marmot. Oh god, I didn't need Rex at all. Jesus. Oh, this is a, a marmot. Oh, there's more. Wait, where's it going? Barely have you readied the sack when the grizzled mouse scampers off into the underbrush. God damn it. I'm trying to save you from the coyotes. It's not really true, but like kind of. That is a a large a large troll. Let's get rid of him. What Ash? Why are you whiny? No, thank you. I would not like it. What's going on? More mice, please. Oh, there. I realize that I could just get on my, my mount, but you know, whatever. the same one. The rodent nimbly evades your grasp before once more disappearing into the trees. God damn it. Okay. Well, let's get on a mount this time. Wish I could fly. Now get in my sack. More prepared for its speed this time, you succeeded in closing the sack over your elusive quarry. Yes, we did it. We did it. Hooray. How did you fare? I tracked down three of the pack, which leaves one unaccounted for. I got it. I did it. Ah, there's the odd, odd mar marmot out. Wait here a moment while I pull up, put our friends in a holding cage.
Thankfully, the marmots seem to be unharmed. They've held up well in isolation, but it's much too soon to release them into the habitat. It's a good thing we were able to recapture them so swiftly. You have my thanks. Uh, what will you do with them now? That's for the forum to decide. They are, guiding, they are the guiding authority behind Labyrinthos after all, and this job was but one small part of this great inventory of theirs. Suitable for consumption and easy to breed, those were t the two conditions I was given for the stock I was instructed to procure. I don't know what the forum has planned for these creatures, but at the very least, I doubt they'll be served for dinner today or tomorrow. So we're eating rats. There you are, Nariu. Uh, is this one, the gleaner you mentioned? The one who was looking for lost marmots? Sure is. Interesting company you keep, friend. Who are you folk, anyway? I'm Kryle of the students of Bal Baldesion. These others are my associates. Truth be told, the forum's decisions of late have not sat entirely well with us. That is why we made the descent into Labyrinth labyrinthos we hope that seeing those decisions put into action we might more fully understand their reasoning wise and practical never hurts to try and gain a broader perspective does it anyway duty calls other animals to capture and enclosures to empty once again i'm sorry that i can't offer you f more for your services Did you learn anything new from your friend there? Sort of. So we've confirmed that the order for this ambitious operation did indeed come directly from the forum. However, the gleaners have not been informed of its purpose. I'd say that fits with everything we've heard such thus far. We've also discovered when the operation was begun, the forum contacted the Gleaners Guildship and put the people to this great and put their people to this great work some four days after the Telephari made their chilling declaration. As seasoned travelers, the Gleaners kept abreast of news from every corner of the world out of necessity. Thus I am I inclined to trust that their calendar of events is accurate. Altogether, it gives the distinct impression that this undertaking was a sudden and unexpected development. Yet I find it hard to believe that such a comprehensive restructuring of Labyrinthos and its archives could have been planned in so brief a window. Nay, this plan was long in the making. They were but awaiting the right time to put it into effect. And the Telephari's declaration was what set it all in motion? It seems likely, but let us not leap to conclusions just yet. For the moment, I suggest we conduct a wider investigation of Labyrinthos. The more facilities we visit, the more place pieces of the puzzle we stand to find. In that case, how about we head to the Ar Archaeon? From there, we can reach the lower... Ooh. I don't like that sound. No, thank you. I would like to return it. Creel, what's wrong? Kryl. Well, I, I don't, I, I still don't know what's the right way. I'm fine, truly. The sudden descent has left me with a bit of a headache, that's all. Mm. Nothing that will stop me from soldiering on. Let's be about it, then. At least allow me to take the lead. I'm fairly certain I remember the way to the Archaeon. We follow the path east through the forest where you were chasing after that mouse. Or marmot, was it? Anyway, tis the trolls you need to watch out for. Oh, we've already learned that. They're not so bad. 